Hey guys, Spooks here, and welcome back to some more Shadows Over Loathing. I wandered around for about two and a half hours, and still didn't get the shovel. I, I eventually googled to see if there was a shovel here, like in this area, and there is, um, but the location for it's just not popping up for some reason, so. I did get some neat stuff, though. I got a wand core, which can make any weapon into a wand, which means it uses my mysticality instead. But I also got a fairy skull wand, which does mysticality plus three spooky damage. So we're gonna do that. Because that's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah. Killed a lot of mushroom men. We also leveled up our, um... Shoot, what was it? The thing where we, like, our sleeves damage balls. Dang it. That's not what I meant to do. These things. Now it does five different enemies. Look at my little wand! By Turt. By Turt. Wow, they're all biting. Okay, Turt's gonna die one way or another. So I mean, so I guess I'll stop them from biting me. Ooh, that was cool! Sorry, Turt. Oh. Well, I guess I can do this and it'll kill them all. Aren't we cool? Okay, we're gonna go to the fairy lair. So why not? And then we'll go back to... You push through the woods and into a small clearing and discover a group of three vampires. Because apparently you aren't allowed to discover anything good in any of these clearings. Well, I say three vampires, but there's one vampire, one bat, and one small cloud. So it could just be a vampire, her pet bat, and the leftovers of a bean's lunch. I assure you, we are all three vampires. Oh, uh, what's the deal here? Are you demonstrating the vampire evolutionary line or something? That? Uh, you know, like the bat evolved out of the cloud, and then the humanoid vampire evolved out of the bat. Uh, no, it's... I don't have enough moxie. Uh, is a bat a caveman vampire? No, if anything, this is more like these three states of vampire matter. Uh, what? You know, solid, liquid, and gas. But bats are a liquid? Look, the metaphor is not the perfect one. Are we going to fight or not? Sure. Rude. Good thing my Healy spell can just get rid of all status effects. Okay, let's see. You're gonna just attack Molly. I'm gonna kill you. And you'll attack me. Okay. do this, I might be able to take her out. Ah, shoot. She probably has a bit of a resistance to spooky damage. Well. Maybe I should have just killed her. Yes, do it to me. Okay. Thanks, Turt. Hey, it does two health now. Sylvester, that's fine. Sylvester, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no. Be gone, thought. There we go. Mess of twigs and sap is a fairy's nest. We got a fairy knife. Hmm, there are a lot of fairies guarding that nest. Must be something good inside. 
Okay. If you're going after Molly. You're going after me, that's fine. Well, not damage the entire party, that's not too bad either. I'm gonna do it again! I'm actually gonna take you out. Get wrecked, punk. That worked. Three to magical weapon attacks. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, please. That took down my mysticality, but it gave me plus three to magical weapons attacks, so it should even out. Ow. Dang it. Ow. Did you just... Do you have a gun? Fairy gun mother? Okay. First off, rude. Zim Zam Stilton. Guess what? I'm gonna do it again. Hey, Molly. Okay, you need to be gone. 13 spooky damage, let's go. Bonk. Fairy wackadoo. Rude. I'm gonna say that should kill both. Fairy star wand. Deals mysticality plus three physical damage and reduce targets mysticality. This seems very good, actually. Um. Deals mysticality plus three physical damage, so instead of spooky damage. And reduce their mysticality by two. I'm gonna do that. Tiny wand is tipped with a star made of solid gold. Don't get too excited though, because it's only like a tenth of an ounce. Fair. Ooh. Wow, this thing is horrible. It must be meant to scare humans away. I'm gonna take it back to my room. Yes. You're not going to be able to drag it out of here with fairies still running on. Oh, good point. I like my floaty boots. I'm pretty sure you guys saw me get my floaty boots. They're vampire boots. Ow. Ow. Thanks, Turk. Such a good spell. I like a Swiss. Yeah, I don't really want you to conjure anything up. That has little stars! She also leveled up a few times. Fairy kick. Increase mysticality by one and damage your magical... Oh, that seems... really good, actually. Um, I eat you. Fall, fulid, fulgistic resin and fustulent grulch. That's a lot of them. Oh, hi. Thanks, Turt. Somehow, Turt's like the fastest guy on my team. Fine. 
So I really want to get rid of these two. Because she's going to conjure someone else. And that fairy was going to shoot me again. Or something. No, that fairy was going to heal. I don't know. One of those things. I honestly don't remember what I just read. Way to go, Molly. Scabrous ring. Renders you immune to bleeding. That's kind of nice, but I really like my universal healthcare ring. Why well, seems you're practicing some kind of dance with a lot of quick movements and hopping around. Uh, what's up? Working on your dance moves? Uh, sure, kind of. Except this dance ain't about cutting a rug. <laughs> she makes a sharp gesture and the blade of her flick knife steps open. It's about cutting, uh, you know, an enemy of some sort, see? Uh, right, yeah, I, I get it. Cool, she acts sooner in combat. Oh, hey, I can take this thing now. You're coming home with me. We're gonna have soft tacos later. Lovely. Pretend to fight it. Three to melee weapon. Oh, cool. So, now I gotta go back to the like. Oh, yeah. Probably go talk to this guy. Well, here we are. Welcome to where the magic happens. Uh, magic? Sure, Fiat looks. <sighs> Old lighthouse keeper joke. Uh, so can I have the compass now? What? No, certainly not. I need that. But... You asked if I had an old compass, and I said I did, and that I showed it to you. Never said nothing about giving it to you. Oh, well, I really need it. So do I. I gotta calibrate this lamp to the North Star every so often. And I need a good compass to show me which one is the north. Well, what if I get you a new one? Nope, I said a good one. The new ones ain't any use at all. Oh, uh, why not? Because of how they changed them. What? Changed the compasses? They didn't teach you that in school. The folks got short memories is all around. It was only around about the turn of the century. Some Atlas company bought the pattern on west and rebranded it as New North. Then they did a recall on all the compasses and issued new ones. They all point west now, and that's useless for my purposes. Uh, okay. Well, how about I find you another old one, then? You can find another pre-New North compass in at least as good a condition as mine, then sure, I'll swap you. Don't really get what the point of that would be, though, since you'd already have one. Uh, well, it's a long story. Well, never mind, then. Here, maybe this will help you. Most of the old compasses got radium paint on the dials, so you can read them at night. This old Geiger counter ought to be able to pick up the radiation from that. Uh, where should I start? This was one of the places that had a shovel! All I had to do was go in here! All I had to do! Most folks consider the old kind of compass to be trash nowadays, and if I was trash, I'd probably be at the old junkyard. You gotta be kidding me. I wandered around that area for an hour. You pulled up short, having nearly walked straight into a huge spiderweb while you weren't paying attention. Although I guess some part of you was paying attention. Good job, whatever part that was. You turn and head in another direction, and soon find yourself stopped by another big spiderweb. So you turn around and try another direction. Nope. That path ends in a big spiderweb as well. Looks like the attention-paying part of you wasn't paying enough of it to keep you from getting lost in a huge spiderweb maze. With some careful mental mapping, you eventually manage to nav navigate your way out of the maze. Somewhere nearby, you hear a chittering noise that's probably the spider equivalent of shucks. Let's go get a freaking shovel. Ooh, a hot rod. Friendship ring. Oh, it's my Geiger counter. Stench armor, stench armor. I've got something with that, right?
another potion. Okay, that is different. These armor. Ah, beans. Well, I mean, this would probably be really good. Give me more damage. This gives me more meat, though. Uh, howdy, I'm Beanie. Uh, hi, Beanie. I'm Sylvester. What are you up to? Trying to get this stove so as I can haul it back to our hobo camp outside Ocean City. Uh, oh, you know about the camp? Yep. I'll be cooking up a mess of beans once I get this stove back there, let me tell you. Do you know about hobo code? Yes. I do not have five muscle though, sorry, buddy. I need more sleaze armor. This opening leads to an underground labyrinth of filth. Unfortunately, your Geiger counter is ticking faintly, so you're probably going to have to go in there. I hope you aren't wearing your favorite... anything. Get some more stench protection. Do I have food that gives me stench protection? I really don't want to eat different food, but... Oh darn. turns out that this garbage dump is much deeper and older than it initially appeared. Huge rooms and tunnels have been carved out of the trash, like the worst archaeological dig imaginable. And just to make a bad scene even worse, it looks like a whole gang of those horrible little fairies had made a home in here. A shovel! Alright, cool. Ah, uh, wait, how do I get out of here? Okay. There's a couple places I need a shovel. I got a big up, dig up, dig up grave uh, museum. You got some spores. Ooh, spooky. So I need to dig right here where the cellar used to be. That's alarming. These ancient chalk marks are mostly rubbed away and indiscernible, but they might once have been part of an ancient ritual circle. In the middle of the circle, you see the broken pieces of an old pocket watch. Was there actual witchcraft going on here at all? Spooky. Nothing but burned, bur burned books. I want to get the code to the... You know, thing. Tom Danforth's pocket watch. Uh, is there another grave I can dig up? Just asking for a friend. Hollow tombstone possible treasure. Did I get treasure from that already? I genuinely don't remember. But let's go back to the past. Sandwich Gazebo, vagrants not welcome. That's not very friendly. You look around, make sure nobody's watching, and scratch the knot off of the sign. Take that authority. That's got to have some information. A 
the board for a moment, then make a move. Now black is winning. Peter Proctor is a stinky doo-doo head. What well, would be the root cellar code? You don't know when you are, much less where. That's not what I meant to press. Oh yeah, it was none of those. Ah. Wait a minute. Cool. Don't know why I didn't open that earlier. Seventeen. I need more muscle. Sandwich gazebo. Vagrants, welcome. Thanks to you. Okay, right, so if I go back to the present, will I be able to go on to that? I don't know where to find the code for the thing. Hey, look like the genie makes the sand had an effect. There's a hobo hanging out here eating sandwich cream right out of the jar. Oh, uh, hi there. Enjoying that sandwich cream? So it's like mayonnaise. Sure am. Can't get enough of this stuff. That's probably why everyone calls me creamy steam. Ooh, ew. <laughs> Gross. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Best sandwich cream is the, the tri-state area right here. It's a traditional recipe. Hey, thanks about the hobo code. Uh, you know, there's a hobo camp over by Ocean City. I bet they'd be interested in this cream. Oh, uh, you think so? I'd love to share this with the other like-minded individuals. Uh, sure. You could set up an extremely specific trade route. Nice gazebo. Is there any proof down here? Or anything showing? Nothing but burned books. Interesting. Looking for uh, proctors. Proctors, Proctorson. It's got to be something, obviously. Um, but what? something in here? Oh, look at that. The last page has been torn out by some history-hating scoundrel, no doubt. that code. I guess I need to go back to the past. Okay, I know there's probably a better way to do this, but I'm literally just going to put in a bunch of combinations. So I'll be back when I have the correct one. Uh, yeah, okay, so I have no idea. I think I tried everything. I think I have to unlock it. Okay, well, let's check the time. March 3rd. This, the newspaper things don't go back that far, do they? Because that's had a lot of information. Like, that's where a lot of answers have been. Or been. You want to be like that. Wait, 
Are there more graves over here? No. Resources. Can you give me something? No. Well, let's see if there's something new. Have something to do with it? Comptroller Margaret smudged. Let me go search the park, see if that's got Margaret's last name. Now these people are named Margaret. <sighs> that doesn't help. Is that Dark Noel's mother? some potions. Oh, wow. Armor, 10 max HP. Ooh. Yes. That was actually really convenient that we came Well, I guess I'm gonna go try a random assortment of words again. I have no idea where to look, but it's probably staring me right in the face. So, I'll be back. It's surprising that nobody names their son Folk anymore. Oh, there's a name. Okay. I'm gonna mess with that. Technically, you shouldn't be able to be down here without having finished dealing with the kids in their trial. Not that I'm calling you a cheater. Probably just remember the combination to lock an alternate timeline or something. I'll totally give you credit for being clever enough to try and shortcut things. Since messing with the stuff in the cellar early would make you the trial unsolvable, I hope you'll understand if I don't let you do that. Oh. I guess I was supposed to do the trial first and not just guess. My bad. Okay, I'm back. Where were we? But trust me, the kid is stealing my pocket watch, vandalizing the outhouse, making a weird and asymmetrical three-armed doll. Uh, I promise I didn't. Promises don't count in a court of law. You gotta prove it. But, but... It's okay, Patricia. I've got this. I have evidence that proves Patricia didn't steal the pocket watch. Well, then present it to the court. Here it is. This is your pocket watch, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Wow, thanks. Where'd you find it? Uh, I'd rather not say. It isn't evidence you don't tell us where you found it. It might have been in her house or something. All right, I found it in your grave. Uh, what? I'm a time traveler from the future. I heard your mom say you love that pocket watch so much you want to be buried with it when you die. So I went back to my time and dug up your grave to see if you were. And you were. And there it is. I, that's crazy. You're crazy. Possibly. But it's true. And the fact that you were buried with that watch top means that you eventually would have found it wherever you lost it. So, Patricia didn't steal it. It still works! The finest craftsmanship. Still working after 236 years. It will, won't make them like that anymore. Okay, but this doesn't prove Patricia didn't take it. Maybe I found it in her house, or she gave me, will give it back to me or something. 
maybe, but it's a closed loop now. We can't ever know how you would have gotten your watch back, because now you have got it back, because I just gave it to you. And isn't that all you really ever wanted? Was to get your watch back? You never really believed Patricia stole it. I would like to know what happened to it, but yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, Patricia. I hereby withdraw my accusation. Thanks. So where does that leave us? Well, I sense you saw the matter of the pocket watch, kind of. Patricia is still accused of vandalizing the outhouse and making weird three-armed dolls. I have evidence that proves Patricia didn't write the graffiti. All right, let's see it then. <laughs> I have two pieces of paper. This one is a rubbing from the outhouse, showing the graffiti in question. Peter Proctor is used to get... Yes, that's, a gra that's the graffiti in question. All right. Yeah, my father basically owns his crummy town. You won't get away with this slander, Patricia. Technically, it's libel, not slander. What's, what's the other piece of paper? This is a page from someone's diary. Someone who clearly thinks Peter Proctor is a stinky duty head. And if you compare the handwriting to the graffiti, they're a perfect match. Wow, they are? Whose diary is this from? The diary this came from belongs to... Delia Putnam. What? Give me that! This... Wait a minute, I don't remember writing this. Hey, this is dating three days from now. The paper's really old, too. What's going on here? I already told you guys, I'm from the future. My diary is in a museum? Wow! So you admit. I wrote the graffiti. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It isn't libel if it's true, right? Hey! Yes, that's correct. In any case, the charge against Patricia is hereby dropped. You do owe someone, though, uh, someone an apology, though, Delia. Yeah! Not you, duty head. He means Patricia. Sorry, Patricia. It was Peter I was mad at. I didn't mean to get you in trouble for it. It's okay. He, he is a duty head. Yay! Oh. You clear Patricia on most of the charges. Only one thing left is the matter of her making a weird three-armed doll. Well, well, what's wrong with that? So she has a weird doll, so what? Well, because you can't just go around being weird and different all the time, no matter how much you want to. Mom and Pa say it ain't proper. Uh, yeah, it's part of the social contract. Did you sign the contract, Patricia? I didn't sign anything, I promise. It's not that kind of contract. Uh, I have evidence concerning the doll, I guess. You guess? That doesn't sound very evidential. What did you find? Well, I found this little arm that looks like it was torn off a rag doll. But if Patricia's already has three... Let me see. Oh, yes, this is mine. Look. Patricia holds up her doll, showing you the stitches where she fixed the hole left by the torn-off arm. Wait, your doll was originally a regular four-armed one? Huh? I mean, based on yours, because I thought it was neat. Hang on, a four-armed doll is regular in 1692? Not everywhere, but around here, yeah, I got, I got so bored, I wanted something different, so I made a doll of four arms, but I'm not allowed to be different, so I had to tell Mom and Pa it was a regular fashion for dolls. And I don't know, it just kind of became a thing. I think I get it. So you were mad because you thought Patricia had outdifferented you by having an asymmetric doll. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Patricia. That wasn't fair. Your doll is really good. I like it better than mine. Oh, thanks. I, I forgive you, Delia. Our dolls can hug and make up. <laughs> See, that's funny. I just noticed the fabric on the missing arm has gone all stiff, like it's all, all really old or something. Oh, uh, yeah. I brought it back here from the future. Where did you find it? We haven't really resolved what happened. Who okay, cares? It's just a stupid rag doll. If your parents had any money, you two could have real dolls and make your own out trash. I found it in a secret compartment in Peter's nightstand. Wait, why you? Yeah, that figures. Not surprising in the least. Charge dismissed. So what's left? Everything's been accounted for. Congratulations, Patricia. You've been acquitted of all charges. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Mr. Sylvester. No problem. I was happy to help. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Well, well, there is one thing I'm curious about. Do you kids know anything about witches? Witches? You mean like black magic, consorting with the devil, that kind of thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Check out this room who thinks witches are real. Yeah, that's just scary stories parents tell their children and make them go to bed on time. Uh, so no witches, no witch trials, nothing like that? Nope, not that I've ever heard of. My dad travels the whole region on this court circuit. Show Peter the rubbing of his grave. Uh, hey, Peter, come here, son. <laughs> what do you want? I've got something to show you from the future. 
Like, I'd care about anything you can show me from your dumb, poor future. Oh, I think you'll be interested in this. Hello, I'm Peter's Grave. Wait, what? That's right, duty head. Right there on your own gravestone. That's what happens when nobody respects you because you're an arrogant jerk to everybody all the time. But, but... But you're young, and you've still got time to change. See what I'm saying? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll try to be nicer to people. Can I borrow your house key, Delia? Excuse me? Well, I need it for time for a time travel thing. He probably wants to burglarize you and make a killing on the antiques market in the future. I mean, that wouldn't work if you tell something from now into the future it would still be new. Antiques aren't valuable unless they go the long way around. But why actually do you want my house key? Well, well, I'm not exactly sure, but apparently your house catches fire sometimes in the future. And I think it might be a good idea to prevent that. Oh, wow, y yes, I agree with you. Now, unfortunately, I lost my key when I was playing on the countryside. Do you have some kind of magic future way to find lost keys? Hmm. Well, maybe I'll think of something. Hey, where were you playing? I don't remember. In the woods outside of town. Oh. Probably can't wander in the past, though. Well, now I want to get the code the right way. Uh, I thought I was just being stupid. No, I was just being impatient. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's go wander. Actually, if I just... Got some spores. Continue trying to search around the woods near Sanders Village, hoping to find Delia's lost house key. And again, you give up after a short while. Finding a tiny 230-year-old key in many square miles of forest why it seems unlikely. Maybe you'll come across something later that might help some kind of lost metal finding device? Until then, this is clearly a wild goose chase. Well, at least it told me. Like, fair enough. Okay. Well, let's go to the junkyard. We've got some stench armor potion, so that should help. Be return. Dang. They're really good bombs, so I'm going to keep getting them. Three stench armor. A de toilet. Oh, yeah. One for three. Trash soaked pants. Neat. The sleaze armor? I didn't know I had to get sleaze armor. The stench armor. I do think I have things that help with sleaze, though. Moxie, muscle, moxie. Maybe. Sleaze armor by one. Dang it. Okay, well. Where did I find the potions? Oh, that's right. This is in the. We'll, we'll go back to that. Muscle 3. 137. Oh, I'm first. That's weird. Threw me off a little bit, not gonna lie. Excuse you. <laughs> Oi! Hey, knock it off. Okay, let's see what they're gonna do. Six damage. That is gonna explode, so whatever. Three damage to Molly. You're gonna conjure up something else, so that's annoying. I think you might be my best 
zap. And here we go. Nice. Gun parts. Make any weapon into a gun. Which will use your moxie to determine your stamina child. That's kind of cool. Fairy dust. Fight the flock. Molly, Turt, Turt, Molly, Molly. Well, well, they don't really care about me at all, do they? Let's do it again. Killer. Okay. And blah 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 blah. Blah blah. Sweet. Hey, a fairy cake. Oh, that's not good. Holy dang, somebody threw away a perfectly good cow skull. These are rare as heck, considering that there haven't been any cows in this country for more than 30 years. This look great in your room, would it? Because that's... Just beneath the surface, your shovel strikes the top of a crate. The Geiger counter continues its irritating clickery. You give the top of the old crate a mighty stomp and end up ankle-deep in compasses. Better than being ass-deep in compangles. <laughs> That's what you always say, haha. -ha. Anyway, enough jokes. You grab the least ruined looking compass. You also breathe the sad releases. You turn off that annoying Geiger counter. Ah, I still got. What are you? Big foot from this big statue. That's not far you are away from this and what it is. Someone threw away an entire fence? Done though. Yeah, fairy butt to kick. What's in here? Ooh, a bell. I think this bell will certainly stir up some angry fairies. Five and Moxie? Four. I want my food. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? You squeeze into the burrow and wriggle your way through a series of nasty trash tubes. Eventually, the guard beneath you collapses, depositing you above a different chamber. Wait, above? Well, that was pointless. I guess it could have helped. Technically. Let's put on my other hat. Bada 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 Lovely. Getting... Ow. Ow. I'm gonna do it again. And yoink. Oh, 
Okay, so that's just kind of a place to farm. Which is good. Ow. Ow. I might kill four of them. I'm gonna kill all five of them this turn. Let's go. You don't mess with Sylvester Duty the Third. Who's coat hanger on there? Wait, didn't I need a coat hanger? No, I got a coat hanger from somewhere. But why? Oh, hello. What is junk, really? Wow, that makes you think. Yes. I need more muscle. Fingers of Vontina. Wow, that is a lot of fairies. Let's see. What are you going to do? I should have killed you. Ow. Can you not? I'm not going to. I wish that did like splash damage. That'd be really convenient. Molly. Molly. Why couldn't you be one of them that died? Not me. Dang it. Hey, I'm not dead though. It's a bonus. Um, there was a giant piggy bank. 300 me, let's go. I don't have a soap. Grab your clothes behind the privacy of this narration box and slide into the tub. Your aches, pains, and various worries drift away in the luxurious steam. You splish around for a while. It's very relaxing. You continue to relax in the tub until the water stops being hot. Sweet! That was fantastic. Did I actually... I did. Okay. I couldn't remember. Also, there's a book I haven't read. adventure can I help you yeah I can oh thanks a million pound I just gotta drag this back to camp and I'll be in business sweet I don't know how I got that but mysticality plus three sleaze damage that's ours Oh, this is Mystical plus three physical damage and reduce their mysticality. Sleeve damage is pretty nice, though. Ah, well, we'll leave it. 
We will leave it. Okay, let's go take this back to the man who's here. And then we'll end it. Okay, sometimes it just shows there's like a car and you go get stuff. Stench armor, five sleeves armor. I do that. And that. And why not? Oi, I got your compass. I sure did. What do you think? Oh, could use a polish, but it seems to be in good condition. Alright, I'll swap you. Let me get that old Geiger counter back from you, too. This should not be followed. This compass always with points to the evil version of North. Uh, thanks. Uh, yep, no problem. Get along now, I got a lot of important... Nothing to take care of. Alright. Um... We'll hurry and go cleanse it. Messages one. No, for you. Call Don T. Uh, later. Hey, buddy. Uh, what's up, Charles? Got something you might find handy. I finally found the time to check out this door behind me. It turns out there was an old bricked up passageway back there. It's right to the purple door. That's actually really nice. Oh, uh, well, that's pretty convenient. Thanks, Charles. Hey, don't mention it, kiddo. All right. You sit with the compass in both hands as the machine whirs and whines and shakes around you. The machine, you feel, is frustrated. Some internal mechanism is swinging wildly, frantically. Then, crack. It figures out whatever it needed to, and there's no more curse. Not in the compass anymore. It still, point, it still points to Old North, though, so it's practically useless. The compass curse is now transfixed in the uncursed machine. Do you, dare you project your consciousness inside? In the next episode... I hope you guys like that. We finally got a shovel. I feel like we cheated by just guessing the lock combination. Um, whoops. It's <laughs> all I can say for that one. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are still enjoying this. I am. If you guys want more than 10 episodes, let me know. But I think we'll just do 10 uh, if we get to the end. If not, we'll just go until we get to the end. But until next time, guys, stay spooky. Toodles! Toodles!